Well, welcome back. 50 days down, 50 to go. The USF researcher we first told you about on ABC Action News a few weeks ago who's trying to set a world record by living underwater for 100 days is halfway to his goal. And ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell caught up with him while he's 30 feet below the surface. Day after day, Dr. Joseph DeTuri is doing what he loves. If you find a job where you love everything that you do and you're chasing your passion and chasing your dream, you're not working. We first brought you his story in March as the USF associate professor, also known as Dr. Deep Sea, attempts to break a world record by living underwater for 100 days. Now he's halfway there. Everybody asks what day I'm on, and I'm like, hold on, three, carry the one, carry the one. okay, you have 50, you have 51. The U.S. Navy veteran is living 30 feet below the surface in a 100 square foot area in Key Largo. He's studying how the human body responds to long term exposure to extreme pressure, all while teaching his biomedical engineering class online. I caught up with Dr. Dituri, who's been keeping busy. We're talking to kids in all kinds of places to get them excited about STEM and the STEM outreach. I go out for a dive once every day at the very least, maybe twice. That takes up an hour. He tells me among the challenges, the logistics of it all. How do you make sure that this works? How does that happen? What happens, true story, the other night, what happens when thunder takes out a generator and shorts out an entire transformer and the island of Key Largo goes dark? <laughs> Dituri said he's also learning a lot about himself as he continues the second half of his 100 day mission, taking it one day at a time. I got to tell you, the science is important. The inspiration that we're giving to these kids when I'm high fiving a little girl in this window. Oh, oh my good. Like, I don't care how many days in Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.